Well, if you've been outside, you know it's not as quite as warm as it was yesterday. Temperatures in the 60s at this time yesterday were getting right around 70 degrees. I don't know if we're going to get to 70 today. It looks like some upper 60s across uh, portions of southeast Texas, while other places like up in the lakes, uh, you'll top out in the middle 60s for later on this afternoon. Right now, right at 60 degrees in Woodville, 62 in Jasper, 61 in Kirbyville. Then we jump into the middle 60s from Silsby at 66, Port Arthur at 64, Orange at 65, and right here in Beaumont, we're currently showing a temperature of about 60. Cool front went through the area last evening. Now it's pushed down into the Gulf of Mexico. It's gone stationary, as so it's not moving a whole lot. High pressure's moved in, but not going to stay for long as we see a little disturbance start to come out of the uh, south and west, combining with a cold front. Uh, we'll see some rain as we head into Wednesday. You're already starting to see some clouds develop down in South Texas, even a few showers down towards the Corpus Christi area. Uh, once that front comes in, looks like later in the day on Wednesday, we'll see a good coverage of rain, about 70% coverage of scattered showers, maybe a few. Uh, isolated thunderstorms. But right now, enjoy the beautiful blue skies we have out there. Uh, this camera right from our 12 News studio here, sponsored by Exceptional Emergency Center, part of the uh, 12 News Roofing 911 Live Skycam Network. Looks like a little busy there on I-10. So here's Futurecast showing the rest of the afternoon. We'll see those temperatures climbing to the upper 60s, 60, 68, uh, 69, maybe not out of the question. We drop back down into the 50s as we get into the evening. And with the clouds starting to come in from the south, that's going to really keep us from cooling down a whole lot as we head towards tomorrow morning. So I think we'll stay right there into the lower 50s, maybe a few upper 40s heading into the early morning hours on Wednesday. As we get into the afternoon, we'll see maybe a few spotty showers. Temperatures uh, upper 60s, maybe 70, but I'm going upper 60s with the cloud cover. And you can start to see maybe a line of some showers and thunderstorms moving in here as we head towards late Wednesday uh, with that front coming through. And that front's going to bring us cooler weather as we head towards the second half of the week. We'll show you that in the uh, extended forecast. As we look at the coastal marine forecast for today, east winds at 5 to 10 knots along the coast, seas from 1 to 2 feet, water temperature at 57. Next high tide's not till late this evening, 8.53. We'll see a light chop today on the inland lakes and bays. So just not quite as warm today. We won't see those middle 70s, but we'll see some upper 60s. Lots of sun, temperatures middle to upper 60s, east winds at 5 to 10. And then tonight cool, I think it'll be dry overnight, even though we'll see a lot more clouds start to move into the area. Temperatures holding right around that 50 degree mark, upper 40s, lower 50s. And then uh, as we look at the general temperature trend, once that front comes through tomorrow, look at that trend for the high and low side go down below normal that uh, red checkered line there across the middle of the screen. That's normal. Uh, we'll be below that as we head towards the second half of the week. And you can see that here on our seven day 50 starting on Thursday going through Monday. Morning lows will be cold back into the 30s and 40s. Not only Wednesday do we see a chance of rain, but we see another chance of rain coming in on Sunday at about 50% coverage.